Callaway County isn't the only fish in the sea. Murray High School has also started a team. Young anglers will take on Kentucky's lakes, rivers, and streams as their playing field. Land Between the Lakes will be the first site of the Kentucky Bass Fishing State Championship. We're at Murray High School today with David Fields, who wears lots of hats here, including assistant principal, athletic director. But today, I want to talk to you about being the sponsor of Murray High's uh, Bass Club. David, you guys have been in existence a while. Tell us a little bit about Murray High's team. Well, I tell you, you know, we, we started this about a year ago. Uh, I met with uh, Kentucky High School Athletic Association, and, and they had said that this may be coming down the line. And so I just tried to see what kind of interest we have. Of course, I have tremendous pra passion for it. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I sent out a, a, an all call to all the students, anyone wanting to uh, sign up learn a little bit about fishing, what competitive fishing is all about. And we had about 32 members at that first meeting. So, you know, I thought maybe the kids wanted to get out of class and, and sometimes we do that. And so I, I called another meeting about a month later, had 25. So last year we had 25 pretty strong members. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot of events as far as fishing on the lake. We got together, we met a few times and, and just kind of discussed some, some fishing basics, if you will. It does give lots of students the opportunity to participate in, in something, but as you say, uh, it's just not as easy as uh, you use the reference going out shooting layups and being able to be competitive. I mean, it's still a very serious sport. It is, it is different. You know, I mean, people can like to fish, and, and, and I can take someone out to fish, give them a bobber, put a worm on their hook, and, and put it out there and, and, and catch bluegill, just like you can go to the park and shoot layups. When you enter that competitive game of basketball, it's the same way as a competitive fishing game. You know, and what people don't realize is, is that you're trying to imitate a, a, a live bait and trying to get something live to hit it. It's some, it'd be like me offering you a rubber steak and saying, come on, come on, we, we, want you to, we want you to eat this. But you know, it's not that simple. It's a little more difficult and people that have mastered it, boy, they can make a lot of money doing it. And, and you know, sometimes that's the name of the game. For me, myself, I just enjoy doing it. A lot of people just enjoy doing it. It's something that, what, what's the saying? Teach a man to fish and, or, or it, Give him, teach him, give a man a fish he can eat for a day, teach him how to fish, he can eat for a lifetime. So it, it's a lifetime uh, sport, and, and I really feel like it's going to be catching on here. It does then present some challenges, I'm sure, because to be competitive uh, even and then compete, you have a challenge of finding boats and, and then all the necessary equipment that goes along with the computer technology now that you go out, I guess. Yeah, you know, one of the, one of the, the biggest challenges that I see that the high schools are going to face is getting boats out there because I have a lot of students whose father or mother don't own a boat and they don't really have that access. We can go to ponds and different events like that within our club, but to compete against other schools, we're going to have to have that. And, and, and you know, that's going to be one of the biggest challenges. Obviously, you know, you have strength in numbers. The bigger your club, maybe the more you're going to be able to, to kind of, kind of resources you're going to be able to tap into. However, I do see that as being one of the challenges is the number of boats.